Welcome back to the Bourbon Note. It's Whatever Wednesday. I'm Greg, he's Ben, and we've got... What do we have on the bar? It's Tranahan's. All right, well, we already gave away what's on the bar, so let's just bring it in. So we've got, bam, this is Stranahan's. This is an American single malt, so it's whatever Wednesday. This is where we do stuff other than bourbon right. for the most part. This is a special one, though, because this is a single barrel store pick cask strength. Before we actually pour this, you may yep. notice we have two Glens out here. Before we get into this, we're gonna get into some, bam, regular Stranahan's. This is 92 proof, right? Uh, 94 proof. 94 proof, uh, at least two years. Um, we've had it, it's really, really, really good if you like malted barley. If you like the scotchy profile. Yeah, kind of, yep. So, Stranahan's is a Colorado whiskey. Like Greg said, it's aged a minimum of two years, that one is. And it's aged in new charred oak barrels. So it's mashed like a scotch and aged like a bourbon. Wait, did we get the right cork? I don't know. It we wasn't. don't want to cross the corks. We don't. There's something very important I forgot to tell you. What? Don't cross the corks. Why? It would be bad. I'm fuzzy on the whole good, bad thing. What do you mean bad? Try to imagine all life as you know it stopping instantaneously and every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. Total protonic reversal. All right, that's bad. Okay, all right, important safety tip. Thanks, Egon. I don't know, this could be bad. We could be tempting the bourbon gods right now. Anyway, getting back to the actual important stuff here. So, age minimum two years, 94 proof. Aged in new charred oak barrels. So it's got, you know, it. You might pick up a little bit of that charred mm -hmm. barrel bourbon-y sort of flavor. Sure. But it's 100% malted barley. The single barrel here is cask strength, so it's 122.82 proof, aged just shy of six years. So this nice. is gonna be a big departure from the regular. Right. Super excited about that. Yep. So, just before we get into these, with most single malt products that we've had, usually they're scotches. Mm -hmm. Typically. It's not uncommon for your, your kind of basic, you know, common scotches to hang out at that sub 90 proof point. Like a lot of like regular scotches that are actually good, respected, somewhat expensive scotches. They're 80 proof. 80 proof. 80 to 86 kind of seems to be a regular, mm -hmm. like the cask strength doesn't seem to be quite as much of a thing for scotches or Irish as, as it, it is, is for bourbon. Totally agree. Now they do exist, but here's the thing, I have never had a single malt in cask strength before. Me either. So picture if you've only had 80 to 86 proof bourbon, and then how much different a cask strength is. That's why I'm looking forward to this so much, because this is gonna be a complete, you know, whole different animal. Different color on these. Yep, you can see the age difference. Yeah, definitely. age and proof. Yeah. So let's get into the regular here first. We've never actually done a review of this that we've, that we've posted. Filmed. Right. We filmed one. A long time ago. Long time ago. Um, this has okay. those traditional single malt notes, apples, pears. It's almost apple, it's almost, I hate to say apple cider, like a, almost like an apple ale. Mm -hmm. um, but it really has an apple kind of like approach to it. Yeah. And, and, that, and I don't say that in a bad way because I really like apple juice flavors, but it really is apple forward. There is a little extra to this though, over a standard but, single, malt, yep. single malt. And I think it is because of that charred oak I think barrel. It's the oak, yeah. You're definitely getting a little bit of cinnamon. Like you said, there's kind of an apple cinnamon sort of vibe going yep. on. Yeah. All right, let's go in it for is the like taste. It's a fruity here. dessert kind of. Yeah, note, for sure. Mm. 
you know? Very apple forward. Yeah, yeah, it certainly is. Like crisp apple. Yeah. But it does have, so obviously I've had this before. <laughs> um, it does have a little bite to it though. There's a little bit of wood um, spice. Yeah, there's a little spice to and it. And almost a little bit of cinnamon that kind of, you know, pops up here and there. It's very desserty, And this is one of those whiskeys that I would say I absolutely love, but I don't want another glass of, you know what I mean? Like it's right. in moderation, it's okay. You and I tend to have that with single malts. Where I it's think like, so. I like it, but I like it to a point yep. and I get sick of it after having yeah. like a full yeah. pour of it. But yeah, this is a great, I mean, as far as single malts go, I think it is excellent. We've delved into a lot of, well, not a lot, but a handful of scotches, not necessarily on the channel, but sure. you know, in yep. our personal lives and stuff. And I don't send me hate mail or send hate mail to Greg at the bourbon <laughs> Um, I've, I think I said in that McAllen, whatever Wednesday that we did, where it's a triple it was cast, a 15, 15 year, year, very expensive, 150 that. bucks. And what I said is for all those specs, there should be a lot more going on in this. And there just isn't a lot of times. Right. And maybe it's because we need to explore some different, yeah, that's some of get it. into, into yep. depth. This, however, I don't feel that way about. No, I think this is, is really interesting. And this is only a, at least two years, so it's probably two years in one day. I, I would think so. And it's not crazy expensive. It's what, $40 or Something so? Something like that, yeah. yeah. The other great thing is this one was the same price as a normal bottle. So I do want to give a plug here. This is Spirits Liquor in Melrose, Minnesota. We've talked about them before. Great liquor store. Great liquor store. Um, so yeah, this was, it's $39.99 for 122 proof, just shy of six years, single barrel. And like we were just saying, that's about the same price you pay for the regular strand of hand. So if you live in Minnesota and you're interested in this, make a trip up there. Cause I've never even seen a single barrel store pit cast strength of this ever. Of a single malt. Yeah, that's just crazy. All right. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to get a little water here real okay. quick. Yeah, like I don't know what to expect. Is it going to turn up the apple note? Which is not a great name for a channel, but I guess if you review pies or something, you can call yeah, yourself sure. the apple note. Apple pies. Yeah. Terrible name if you review like blueberry pies. Well, of, of course. But is it going to turn up the cinnamon note? Is it just the ethanol? Like, I don't know, but you know what? I'm about to find out. On the nose, I would never guess is 122 proof. I wouldn't guess it's the same as this. Like, I'm getting no apple. Yeah, I'm almost getting more of that. Um... Just very subtle barrel char, but it's actually, I'm not getting very much at all. <sighs> you getting almost like a baked goods sort of note. Floral or fruity, maybe? I think maybe there's some cinnamon and almost like a light, like allspice or baked, like a clove or something. Oh, maybe clove. You're on the right yeah. track, yeah. Which typically <clears throat> I associate from a rye. But are, are you with me on this? Like, would you ever guess this is 122 proof on the nose? Hey, to be honest, I'm not getting very much at all. Very light note that I think maybe in that kind of clovey. I'm getting great flavors. flavors. There's maybe some, oh, it's almost like a gingerbread, banana bread, some sort of like dark baked goods. I don't know if this is a terrible I'm, way to describe I'm this. Not, or... I'm not getting that. All right, let's go right, in I'm for the taste for here. Cheers. A lot of ethanol burn, but in a good way. It's just, it is burn forward. And yes, it's turning the apple pie up to 11. Yeah. Oh, and there is the single malt finish where just that single malt grain note mm -hmm. on the finish is just. I gotta I have another sip of this before I. I'm into that. I am into that for sure. Um, how we were just saying, like with you and me, with the Scotch profile, single malt profile. Mm -hmm. Again, we know it's not a Scotch. Yeah. Somebody just fast forwards to that part of the video yeah. and then. Ah! Out. Um, that I, you know, I I like a glass of it, but that's it. Yep. I feel like that's a little cut down on this, where it's like this is a little more in my wheelhouse of like mm -hmm. just the overall flavor profile at the cast strike, where it like. I kind of agree. Like I can I'm have not, a couple of these. I'm not getting that too rich and I'm gonna get sick of it real quick. It actually has a really strong burn. Like it's almost like 
It doesn't have the corn and some of the other parts of the bourbon, which I'm more used to drinking. Yeah. Um, and so you get hit with the ethanol different than with a bourbon. Sure. And it's not bad. It's just, it's a little bit more upfront because the apple and the cinnamon don't protect you from the flavors as much. And it's just really great flavors. Yeah. And it works really well with the, the proof point to give you like great flavor and a good burn. Maybe like an apple fritter. You know what I say with the baked goods? Like, you know, an apple fritter with the apple cinnamon and, and then just a glaze sugar. of, yeah, like that glaze coating. I think this is excellent. But it, it it's almost, it's a departure definitely from, like this drinks kind of like a scotch. And yeah, I know it's not a scotch, but it's, it's single malty. This is kind of its own thing. Yeah, for, for sure. For, I mean, for scotches and single malts, we just don't get this kind of an aggressiveness. Yeah, and maybe we just need to try a it, cask it, it, strength. Now I'm very curious about trying yeah. cask strength scotch. I don't even know if that exists, but I'm sure there's one It does, one oh yeah, two. for sure. Okay. Yeah, they make them. I can't afford them. It's just not, yeah, well there's that. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like we were saying before, it's just not as common of a thing. It's not like as much of a trend. Sure. You know? Or at least it used to not be. I'm sure that, you know, they've seen what's happened to the bourbon world in the last few years. <sighs> there is something that's prominent here that I just, can't quite put my finger on, but I feel like it's that glaze. You know, like the glaze that's on a glazed donut. Mm -hmm. That like the glaze, that same glaze on an apple fritter. It's just if really. If only kind you of... could use the word glaze three more times in that sentence. <sighs> well, I didn't want to just glaze past <laughs> it. I wanted to really get in there. When people's eyes to glaze over, getting bored. Glaze. There's three. I can only think of two creative ways <laughs> to do it. Mm. Unfortunately, I ran out, so I can't do the. Uh, the old Benny There's Walker more. special. You know, I was thinking about that, but they're the same. Well, they're not the same things. They're not the same age, but I mean, we do have to blend, but I feel bad doing it because we're really just proofing down a cast string. But I, I think they're actually fairly <laughs> different. Are you going to pour more? I, I've got enough here. Okay. All right, let's go in for the blend. So in closing on this, for $39.99 that they're selling this for, if you are watching this and you're in Minnesota and you if you like Stranahan's, go get a bottle of this. For to sure. Totally agree. Um, if you're interested in just a cast drink single malt, I would go get a bottle of this. This is a really, really nice whiskey. It is really interesting. And if you want to, you know, have a pour some night of something different that's kind of outside the standard profile, maybe try this with a cigar or something. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a great option that gives you something that's unique, but it's not just single malty. Yeah, you know? I totally agree. Yeah, this is, I feel, really kind of its own thing. Yeah, I got to pick up a bottle of that for sure. Yeah. All right, let's go in for the blend. The blend. Huh, that's got... Apple strudel. Yeah, I'm really surprised at how much the, there's cinnamon starting to come out of this as it's been sitting. Yeah. You know, they're really, like I said, that apple cinnamon note mm -hmm. is really interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try it. Cheers. So at this point, we're at like, what, right a little over 200 proof? Yeah, math. So, yeah. <laughs> um, it's good, but I feel like it's just taking yeah, flavor we, away from this All one. we've done is subtracted from a really, yeah. really good one. And and this is a very nice. Yeah, but, but you're this adding just more of that standard single malt yeah. profile to an exceptionally good you know what? something different. So this one... So this one does have a little bit more of a tang, almost like a green apple, kind of mm -hmm. like tanginess. And that, that added to this, and in, in, it's not the best thing. So maybe the blend is not the best idea ever. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend putting a 94 proof version of something into the cast strength, yeah. better age version of itself, but yep. I would definitely recommend this bottle for sure. So go check out Spirits Liquor, grab a bottle of this before they're gone. It, I know it's kind of a drive from like the Twin Cities metro area. It's and totally worth it. Totally you worth it. You'll be so impressed with their selection. Yeah, they've got every kind of bourbon, within reason obviously, all the available ones. Yep. Um, they've got store picks at reasonable prices. They still got their Knob Creek store pick for seven or uh, $47. Right. Or $48, whatever. Yeah. Sub 50, that's awesome. Yeah. This thing for $39.99, awesome. Mm -hmm. So yeah, go check them out, grab a bottle of this, totally recommend. Totally All right, good. well, this has been Whatever Wednesday with some Stranahan's product on Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. If you're liking this video, share it with a friend. Thanks for watching. Cheers.
Not an enemy this time? Not, not an enemy. Okay. That's just crazy.